Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching VHS TV. Today is Monday, September 19th. I'm your host with the most, Robbie Harris. That's my buddy Big Red, Weston Pinnock. Here's what's going on at VHS. This week is homecoming at VHS with different dress-up themes each day. All students and staff are encouraged to participate in the themed days, which are holiday on Tuesday, PJs on Wednesday, flashback to the 80s on Thursday, and purple out on Friday. VHS TV wants everyone to send out their dress day pictures using the hashtag BeaverGHC16. You can send your pictures out on Twitter or Instagram, and we'll pick some of our favorites to show next week right here on VHS TV. You can also see everyone's pictures around school on the monitors in the hallways. Don't forget, next week use hashtag BeaverGHC16. And all students are invited to help their grade levels homecoming float today through Thursday from 5 to 8 at the maintenance facility. Snacks will be provided. They hope to see you there. Snacks? Man, I might be there. Teens for Christ will be meeting Monday after school from 3 to 4 in the orchestra room, F-104. Join them as they worship together, eat some snacks, and continue their Bible study of the book of Genesis. All are welcome. The Fashion Club will be meeting tomorrow after school in room B-225 until 4 p.m. You can check their Facebook or Instagram accounts for future meeting dates. Our country has been in an uproar over a certain NFL quarterback in recent weeks. Here's Brian Bandy with the story. The country divided over racial issues and police brutality. Colin Kaepernick has only added to the controversy. Colin Kaepernick is the 49ers bench quarterback and he chooses to sit during the na national anthem before every game. Although many players and celebrities have given him support to what he believes in, many people believe that is not the right way to express his concern. You shouldn't, you shouldn't sit down on the national anthem, but it's not good. Like the national anthem is not going to change because he's sitting down and a couple people sit down. It's not going to change. Uh, the Colin Kaepernick, Kaepernick situation, I don't agree with. Uh, I, I think uh, it's our national anthem, and uh, we, we stand for that. We stand together, and uh, I'm certainly that all all uh, lives matter. But uh, I think we display and do things in a different mash, fashion than that. And so uh, I'm not in favor of it, and uh, I wish that that would not continue. Not stand for the national anthem is just ludicrous to me. Freedom of speech, he has the right to do it. That is all I'm saying. Thanks, Brian. I'll make sure to be watching for that in later weeks. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Brent, what you got for us today? Hey, guys. Girls golf sectionals were on Saturday, and the cross-country team had a wet and muddy race. But first, it's the varsity football team who was against HCC rival Fishers on Friday night. It was a defensive battle all night, and the dogs went to halftime trailing 10-0. In the third quarter, Hunter Johnson found Eli Johnson down the left sideline for a 47-yard touchdown pass. Late in the fourth quarter, still trailing by three, Carson Gill took a screen pass 23 yards for a touchdown and put the dogs on top. Fishers had one more drive to try to win, but Isaac McCormick sacked the quarterbacks, won a five-dog sacks on the night, and secured the victory. The dogs are now 5-0 on the season. The JV football team also defeated Fishers over the weekend 25-20. to They're in our 4-1 on the season. The varsity volleyball team competed in the Hendricks County Tournament over the weekend. For the third year in a row, the Dogs came home as Hendricks County champions. The Dogs defeated Avon in the champion match 3-1. Great job, ladies. The Dogs are back in action Wednesday at Pike. The Brownsburg Lady Golfers finished second at Saturday sectionals and advanced as a team to regionals for the sixth year in a row. Abby Cody and Morgan Keir had outstanding performances, both shooting 75s through tough course conditions. Morgan Keir had a spectacular moment when she shot a hole-in-one on the fifth hole during the round. Hannah Thomas and Marissa Keir played very well in their first appearance in the IHSAA tournament, shooting 85 and 88 respectively. Macy Stott finished around with a 95. Good luck to the ladies at regionals this Saturday. The girls cross country team took part in the Flash Rock Invitational at Carmel on Saturday. In very tough conditions, the ladies fought hard and came away with second place finish out of 20 teams. Brooke Dixon led the way with, for the dogs finishing fourth overall out of 177 runners. Lauren Reinhardt came in sixth and Gabby Bishi finished in tenth. Amy Cogill and Emily Truax also scored valuable points for the dogs. On the JV side, the ladies finished seventh. Brianna Shannon led the way, followed by Kirsten Uren, Laura Sanders, Sarah Pitts, and Hannah Tiplitz. The team will travel to Shelbyville this weekend. Good luck. The athletic department will be selling varsity football homecoming tickets during all lunches in both cafeterias this week, from Wednesday through Friday. Tickets are $5, and get yours so you can avoid the long lines on Friday night. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Brent. 
Let's take a look at some pictures using the hashtag BeebergHC16. Don't forget to use hashtag BeebergHC16 on all of your homecoming pictures to see them right here on BHS TV. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on Wednesday. Forever let us hold our banner high, 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 high. Come along and sing the song and join the jamboree. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-R-C.